Now I'm going to show you how to break apart a salt chlorination manifold. We're going to inspect our screen, we're going to inspect our cell, and we're going to do a test to make sure that the cell is in fact making chlorine. I've turned the pump off and we're going to go ahead and take apart our manifold by loosening the union. Here's our screen, which is totally dirty. And we'll clean that up before we reinstall it. Next I'm undoing our other union and then I'm separating our cell from the manifold. Now if we look into the cell we can see that there is calcium deposits built up on each of the fins. A little more on one side than the other. And so we're going to acid wash that. But to test to make sure that our cell is producing chlorine, we're going to install this dummy cell. Like so. We're going to go ahead and turn the pump back on. We're going to install our inch and a half plug. Into our salt cell, like so. And then we're going to fill this up with water. So we have a plug in the bottom and our fins are covered with water. We're going to reinstall the cord. And then we're going to boost our system. And we have bubbles and foam as the cell is making chlorine and there's the chlorine gas burning off so we know that our cell is working really well actually so I'm gonna hit boost to turn it off the bubbles and the chlorine gas has stopped and then I'm going to unplug the cell and pour out that water. To perform this test you will need the dummy chlorine uh, dummy uh, salt chlorine generator cell. Um, you could potentially make one of these if you wanted to uh, or we can we can loan you one out if you need it. The purpose of this is to keep the flow switch, the tri-sensor, which is the, the flow, the temperature, and the salt uh, probe, believing that there's water going through so that we can, we can trick that, that unit out. And that concludes the test of the salt cell, uh, confirming that it is, in fact, making chlorine.